question for you. Well, he was just walking across the street, minding his own business. Yeah, now he's in the hospital fighting for his life. The crime that put him there was caught on a nearby surveillance video, and now police are hoping for the public's help. And 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is standing by live along Telegraph in Detroit with the details. Kim, this video is just shocking. You can actually see it, what happened. It really is, and it's, 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 it's really unfortunate that someone would actually not just do this, but actually leave the scene here. This man is now fighting for his life, and Detroit police are trying to find the person responsible. Take a look over here. This man was crossing Telegraph here at 7 Mile, and he was only a step or two away from the curb when he was hit. Who is behind the wheel of this newer Dodge Charger? Detroit police need to find him or her, and here's why. They were speeding down Telegraph and hit a man who was crossing the road, and the driver of that silver or gray Charger just kept going. The investigation shows that that vehicle was southbound on Telegraph, uh, disregarded the traffic control at a high speed. The hit and run that left the 30 year old man in critical condition happened around 7 p.m. yesterday here on Telegraph at 7 Mile. And as you can see from the surveillance video, there was still plenty of daylight around that time. But police don't know if the driver of that newer model Dodge Charger hit the man on purpose or if perhaps the driver was somehow distracted, perhaps texting or just not paying attention because they were more concerned with running that red light. Detroit police are now hoping that someone watching this may be able to help find the driver who put a man in the hospital with severe injuries, particularly to his head. We do know the charger has some damage to the passenger side of the car and part of the side mirror was found at the scene after breaking off on impact. The mirror should be damaged. Um, hoping some tips come in, lead us to this driver. Now, Detroit police have not released the victim's name. At last check, they were still trying to confirm his identity and contact his family members. But if you have any information on that silver or gray Dodge Charger involved in this accident here, this hit and run, please call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 Speak Up. That's 1 800 Speak Up. Reporting live in Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back to you, Malcolm.